Identifying houses of worship, churches, synagogue, and mosques as essential places that provide essential services. Some governors have deemed liquor stores and abortion clinics as essential, but have left out churches and other houses of worship. It's not right. So I'm correcting this injustice and calling houses of worship essential. I call upon governors to allow our churches and places of worship to open right now. If there's any question, they're going to have to call me, but they're not going to be successful in that call. Dr. Ronald McNair Park here in Brooklyn, New York. And what's today's Walk and Talk going to be about? It's going to be about a very important announcement made by President Donald J. Trump. I tell people all the time in 2016, all the way back to 2016, people follow me on social media know I was calling him our version of King Cyrus. I was calling him Cyrus 2.0, uh, one of his nicknames I gave him. Um, because as you know, King Cyrus is the one who freed the Israelites um, when Daniel, when, it, when Daniel was uh, captured, uh, I believe it was Persia. Uh, who had him captured and he was freed by King Cyrus and the Israelites were free. So I feel like President Trump is not the new one under the sun like the Bible always says. And I think there's nothing new under the sun. I think this is uh, kind of in a way like a mental slavery, especially if you guys are here in the New York area. You know, we're in quarantine still, a lot of business still shut down, a lot of small businesses are just struggling right now. And you see you got Joe Biden even out here. Oh my goodness, sleepy Joe Biden. He's out here talking about you're not black unless you vote for Joe Biden. And this is our only option other than Donald J. Trump. So this is this is insane. This guy's insane. This guy's lost his mind. This guy's disrespecting the whole race of people. I'm not going to sit back and take it. And it's just, you know, I look how prophecy works and how God uses vessels to get certain things complete. And this is what he's doing right now. If you look at it, you know, he came out and made the announcement yesterday. My dad sent me a very lovely song. Um, my dad is an Army major veteran. Uh, Russell Lee Wright's his name. Uh, he was a pastor after he left the military. He was a pastor for a good 15 years. You know, I won't, close to 15 years. He was in church for that long, but he was a pastor for about five or six of the years, I believe. Um, you know, great person. He led me to Christ, you know, when I was very young. Uh, he taught me my first Bible scripture was do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Um, <clears throat> I can't forget my mother. May she rest in peace. I lost her when I was 20 years old, colon cancer. Uh, she taught me at a very young age, you know, just to always believe and at, pray for strength. And, you know, I always pray for God to give me strength. And I asked and, and shout out to my Aunt Jocelyn as well and my Uncle Adrian, because uh, when I was down in Georgia, one of the last things I asked me before I left was, you know, pray to give me strength. And this is what I'm pretty sure what the strength is going to be used for. So this is all in God's name. Like I said, Trump to me is our version of King Cyrus, and he's just fulfilling prophecy, man. So. He's fighting for the church, so I'm here to fight for the church. And my name, Christopher, is given to me by my mother. May she rest in peace. Uh, I think I might have mentioned that earlier, but either way, I'm going to mention it again because if you look at Christopher, it stands for light bearer. Um, That's what the name stands for. And, you know, my dad was, uh, my, both, both my parents were believers, but my dad was, you know, obviously a pastor, you know, just uh, more on the religious side, you know, very religious man, very godly man. And, you know, my mom still was the one who gave me the name Christopher. So I'm going to use the name that God gave me working through her, Christopher, um, you know, light bearer to bring that truth to the public. So that's what I'm here to do. And I just want to show you guys also, like I said, the man is dedicated to the memory of Dr. Ronald Irwin McNair, born October 21st, 1950, died January 28th, 1986, aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger. Physicist, astronaut, teacher, musician, athlete. My wish is that we would allow this plant to be the beautiful oasis that she is and allow ourselves to live more in the peace that she generates. <clears throat> and on the other side, my personal quote I, I really like a lot. The satisfying thing about physics itself is the feeling of having understood and unlocked something heretofore unknown. Defy and simply ignore any of the inevitable obstacles that will impede your pursuit of your goal. And pretty much that last quote 
over here, I just pretty much says that's this pretty much signifies God's glory. You know, it gives you more details what science does. I have no problem with science. Science to me is just giving you details of God's glory. The Bible couldn't give you the details, X and Y chromosomes, the neurons, the electrons. The Bible couldn't go in that far detail. It just had to tell you the, you know, the breakdown, the prophecy, the importance of the story. And that's what it did. So, a book, the best selling book of all times. And I, again, I have no problem with quantum physics and anything like that because it goes into further detail, just God's glory. And, you know, we're never going to know everything God knows because there's only one King of Kings, and that's Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the Holy Trinity. So that's the way it's got to be. But until then, you know, I'm going to be here fighting for the cause. Can these churches reopen in New York? I got Bevel and Beatty. Good friend of mine from the Vice Debates, she's out here fighting. I'm gonna get her involved. You know, I got a lot of patriots out here that, you know, they got a lot to say. So we're gonna do what we gotta do, man. <laughs> you know, reopen the churches. God bless everybody out there listening, and God bless the United States of America. Peace out. Adios. Oh yeah, one more thing. Be strong. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians. God bless everybody listening and God bless United States of America. Make America great again. Peace out.